Hi, I'm John Davis. I'm an artist and a Access Consciousness Certified Facilitator. And I'm here with Viv Adcock. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about the story behind one of the pieces of art that I created. Um, this is a portrait of, of uh, Cooper the Rescue, Rescue Greyhound and, and Viv, the owner of Viv. And Viv had asked me, uh, I knew a little bit about what she did. Um, she takes in uh, greyhounds that have either been uh, rejected by the greyhound industry, or in Cooper's case, he had actually been used as a laboratory animal. And I was shocked to hear that this was still going on in Australia in this century, that animals are used for laboratory experiments. Um, and Cooper had been taken on by Viv, um, and she asked me to come around and take a portrait of him. Of him. When I went to the house, uh, Cooper was very skittish. He relaxed when he saw Viv, but then when he saw me, he absolutely freaked. He must have had some bad experiences with men before. And it was quite a task to get him to sit still so we could take a photograph. Um, and what I saw Viv be with Cooper and how she changed the energy by just being who she'd be and relating to him was had such an impact on me that I said, no, I'm not going to do a portrait of Cooper. I'm going to do a portrait of the two of you together because it was just wonderful to, to be there and see how this animal who was just totally freaking out just changed, calmed and uh, sat down and let me take a photograph of the two of them. And so I've always been curious, Viv. Can you, can you walk me through what you did when you got this petrified animal turned up in your house? And how did you start to change his universe? Well, one of the main things is to not have a point of view, you know, about, oh, it's terrible or awful that this animal's been treated this way or that he's frightened or, you know, you poor thing. It's to not have any of those points of view and to just be, um, it's like, it kind of sounds weird, but just to be this space where it's just like, <sighs> you know, and you can just take a big breath and just relax and let all of that stuff go and to, to practice the muscle to be that. Um, I'm so grateful for the tools of Talk to the Animals um, by Gary Douglas, founder of Access Consciousness. Um, learning about these tools that they, yes, they're there to facilitate animals through any kind of situation, whether it's a physical problem or an emotional problem or an energetic problem or something that's going on in their world, but for you as the person that's being with the animals and handling them or caring for them in any way, for that reciprocation to occur, Cooper had to feel safe in human company, mm -hmm. which, you know, he's used to having needles stuck in him and being put to sleep and having blood taken out of him and, you know, I don't know what else happened, but for him to start to build a trust with a two-legged beast mm -hmm. was another journey. And so to build that level of reach into his world where he was so terrified to just for me not to have a point of view or to want to try and make it better or fix it or molly coddle him or whatever it was just no this is going to take a bit of time and space so for me the tools of just having no point of view having no projections about what good or bad or right or wrong about his life the state he was in when he first arrived you saw him mm -hmm. You know, his fur was missing off his chest, he was stressed, his adrenals were through the roof, um, he was just constantly darting, he wouldn't lay down. Um, what amazed me is, uh, I think, how long had you had him when I, I came I think we'd had him about three weeks, two three or three weeks. Three weeks. Okay. But within, within 15 minutes, I think, when I showed up, he freaked, and within, within five minutes, he'd agreed to sit next to you, mm. <laughs> and you were just sort of talking sort of gently to me is to, 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 to tell him that I wasn't a threat mm. and just being that sort of presence with him. And within another 10 minutes after that, he was completely relaxed. We moved for a, from a couple of locations mm. to locations to get the pictures and he was completely into it. And, 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 and I just saw him sort of little, give you a little nuzzle every now and then. I thought that was just such a beautiful thing. It's yeah, and amazing. That, that journey and so, He's facilitated me massively out of mm -hmm. all the dogs that I, all the animals I've had the pleasure of working with uh, in any capacity. He 
animals facilitate us to be something different within ourselves mm. you know and oftentimes this occurs without us really being cognitive of it because you can't think your way into that it's a being you know and everything these days is very much about busyness and outward and doing rather than no it's that it's that space it's that way if you look at how animals function, you know, the cows grazing in the paddock, there's no stress, there's no hyperactivity, there's no fear, there's no alert in that moment. So they, it's this two-way street, there's this reciprocal healing or this reciprocal facilitation and transformation that goes on between, yes, he was a st highly stressed animal, very yeah. unusual case, yeah. but the space that you be for them and using the tools, you can use the tools of the animals and then what occurs is your energy changes and as your energy changes, theirs changes and it's this simultaneity of yeah. communion, uh, gifting and receiving where there's this two-way communication like you say. Yeah, and, and the, 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 the thing that I got from it that was just palpable was his joy to be alive. Because yes. when, when I showed up, it was like, oh my God, I'm, I'm going to total survival mode. You know, what's the point? And it, 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 he was just really frantic. And then by the end, it was a, oh, 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 oh that's a really good gift. And yeah. This is nice, and I'm happy to be alive. And that was to see that in like 15 minutes. Mm. And after only three weeks, was just a beautiful thing to see. Yeah, it, it, his journey was spectacular. Um, so, yeah, to have those tools available to facilitate an animal. But like I say, it's kind of like this side effect, this little sneaky side effect that comes in the side <laughs> door that you transform. Yeah. Your very being, your whole life transforms from an yeah. interaction like this because to embody that space then around people, yeah. if people are really stressed or they're going through a traumatic time, yeah. you've got this energy to be and draw on. And for me, I've chosen that to be a muscle that I, mm. I strengthen every day. And I'm so grateful for the tools of talk to the animals because mm. they introduced me to this way of being you know i always felt there was a different way to be on the planet with people and with animals but i didn't know how and this was the gateway these are the, the mm. this was the doorway and the tools so you know reading the book talk to the animals by gary douglas and um, attending a class if you're interested yeah yeah sure. fantastic and how how can people find you yes yeah, so um you can find me on vivadcock.com um, there's also a website called www.talktotheanimals.com um, and Gary Douglas's book, Talk to the Animals, is available uh, yeah. on Amazon, I think it is, and at, if you just Google Talk to the Animals, Gary cool. Douglas. And I would say that even if you don't have an animal, even if you don't have a lot of contact with animals, just seeing this sort of thing can just change your life. It was just an amazing afternoon of my life, and then look, putting the picture together and, and, and creating the art from it, just every time I worked on this, on this particular piece of art, I was just reminded of that energy that you would be on that day. And so, yeah. if you're not that interested in animals, I'd say go along anyway because you'll never know what way your life could change. Yeah, thanks, John. Cheers, thanks, Bill.